What's going on everyone? It's Elias and in today's video we actually have a win during a live coaching session. That's right, this is during a coaching session as I'm coaching a student and we end up winning the SMB. There's gonna be a lot of tips and tricks throughout this video so please stay all the way till the end and check it out. If you're interested in my coaching, please check out my Fiverr or my Discord in the description below and I'm always happy to help. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the next video and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we actually didn't talk that much about S and D, but S and D, you got your three lanes, right? So you got your right lane, middle lane, left lane. Uh, playing this map a crap ton, I know that the enemies on offense usually like going A first, okay. right? So because they like going A first, I'm actually going to hard counter them. And what I mean by hard counter them is I'm literally flying in their face, centering exactly where I know they're going to be, and then uh, I'm just going to kill them. Got one. There's a guy on uh, the head glitch. Oh, there's two on the head glitches. Nice. Last guy on the head glitch. Left head glitch. Last guy. Nice. Easy. Like, that. that's exactly what I mean on how, like, S&D is played. Where we already know these guys are going to go A. So let's just hit them with everything we got. And now I can guarantee you these guys are going to think twice about trying to go A again. No, I'd be telling people all the time, like, they'd be like, oh, it's search, it's search. I'm so bad at search. And I'd be like, bro, like, I love search. To me, search is like in your face team deathmatch. Like, bro, we're going to get this one life out the way. It is literally the closest thing you'll ever get to like a balanced game in Call of Duty, it feels like. Yes. Okay. So I'm, 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 I'm almost on uh, head on. So cool. So the reason why I'm going B right now is because there's going to be limited people here. Okay. In Freezer one shot, he pushed out Diner. It, it sucks because yeah. right there, we have a 3v1 at B. We win that one gunfight, we now plant bomb, we win that offense. Fortunately, not this time. All right, so these guys are probably going to either play super slow at A or they're going to try to go B. Since our teammates are already going B, I'm going to have to go A. Oh, one guy middle. Everything is detailed to the point of like, they know what they're doing and they know exactly where they want to go and what they want to do. And Absolutely. Gonna change that. Yeah, it, and that's just the game plan. That's the strategy behind it all. Uh, we're like, right now, I know this guy always plays in Freezer. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go hard counter him at Freezer. Okay, okay. There's going to be another guy flanking us. Yep. yep, behind us. Almost on bomb. Whew. All right, so what I did right here is I out-aimed, aimed back in to shoot the second guy, and then I missed shots, and I out-aimed, aimed back in a, a, a second time as well. Yeah, and that's what I mean on how, like, it's a fraction of a second. Like. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so last time, one guy just flat-out pushed up middle. So I'm literally just gonna play for that guy now. Okay. And I just pull out an AR just so I can like guarantee the win. All right, these guys are actually nading us at A, so they're just gonna flat out rush up our A. There's gonna already be people inside of our building. Oh, there's a guy at couches. I'm going to challenge out couches. Come with me. Okay. Do you have dead silence by chance? Yes, I do. All right. Pop it. And then let's go uh, flank their middle. Last guy has to be our top bed. So I've noticed that every corner you're jumping. Is that normal? Yes. Okay. Yep. He's our top bed right now. Dead. Let's go. And this is right here where I'm centering like a hacker. I see the enemy. I'm not aiming at him, so I get behind cover. So, boom, right there, I get behind cover, aim at him through the wall, and then I re-challenge, and I get the kill. Okay. Uh, and right there, I like we didn't have control of our bedroom, so the enemies have to have control of that. And all I did was I decided to push up, control a side, and uh, because we controlled their side, there's only one spot they can be. All right, we've been we've been going B pretty much every time, so I'm hoping that this A play is gonna cause some confusion. Put our teammate with the bomb is <laughs> over here with me. 
Literally. Dude, our teammate just needs to get the bomb down and we win. All right, uh, but did you see how like, because we went B three times in a row, there was no one at A? Yeah. And it's just, that's us orchestrating the game and just like controlling it basically. I, I never worry about any SND I play just cause it's. I don't either, I don't know why. It's like I said, I love SND. It's, it feels, that's the most second rate, the second nature game that I have. Might get flanked, yep, flanked. Nice, last guy's uh, flowers. I'll fly with you, yeah, I'll fly with you. Easy. For sure. Right there, that's actually where I would be okay with the enemies calling us hackers. Cause we all four just went B right there when that was the first time the enemies went B. <laughs> we kind of just got lucky. <laughs> all right, and we should be able to just go A and just end the game right here. Bro, mid, 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 mid. Heard? Got him. Nice. Last guy is probably flanking. Oh, never mind. I don't know where the last guy was, but he's dead. <laughs> See, so the reason why I said last guy's flank is because we killed like three enemies at middle and A, which means that last enemy has to be B, which means he's more than likely going to flank or he's going to wrap back through his base. 